This is questions one through four on quiz one. Um, these are basic um, finance questions. So let's do a the setup. Okay, the setup is that we're going to open a doggy daycare business in Ann Arbor after graduating. We're going to make some assumptions. It's going to cost me fifty thousand to retrofit the building. I'm going to make the investment today, and there's no rent that's ongoing. I have revenue. $25 per dog per day, and it's going to be open 260 days a year. We're going to get 10 dogs during the first day, uh, during the first year, 10 dogs per day during the first year, 20 during the second year, 30 during the third, and we're going to assume that all cash flows occur in, at the end of the year. Um, and so therefore, like, uh, basically year one, we'll, we'll have 10 dogs per day times $25 times 260 days. We're going to have to pay a dog sitter. She can only handle 10 dogs at once. And so you'll need one sitter the first year, two the second, and three the third, and then you have a discount rate of 12%. All right, so let's just go ahead and set that up. Zero, one, two, three, four. I think I did, no, I only did three years. And let me insert. Okay, so these are years. Let's go ahead and put our discount rate up here. That's uh, 1.12. Again, you can put 12% if you want. You just have to add one in later. Um, and here I'm going to do dogs per day, sitters, and then the price that I'm charging. And I'm not going to have any dogs in year one, but I'm going to charge 25 bucks for the rest of the dogs. I'm going to need one sitter, two sitters, and three sitters because I'm going to have 20. I mean 10, 20, and 30 dogs per day. And then um, what else, what else did I need? Oh, days in the year. Days in the in year is 260. So we have 260 days, $25 a dog. Yep, everything's okay. I have to pay the sitters $50 a day. So let me just insert that. And actually, sitter fee is $50 a day. Price per dog. I can just put 25 here and delete the rest of these. There's really no reason to duplicate that since it doesn't grow. Okay, so my revenue is going to be the number of dogs per day times the price per day. I'm going to lock that times the days in the year. And since both, oh, I didn't lock everything correctly. I'm going to lock this one. My expenses, I'm going to have different expenses in the second year, but it's going to be one sitter times $50 times 260 days of the year. And then I'll have this $50,000 renovation fee. Okay, so let's call this EBITDA. It might even be EBIT in the problem. I think it is EBIT. Yep, uh, EBITDA. Okay, that's fine. Um, so that's going to be revenue minus expenses. And just for the sake of argument, let's do the PV. PV again is going to be your cash flow in that year divided by the discount rate to the power of the number of years. And NPV is going to be the sum of those. Okay. So the, let me make sure I got everything right. All right. So what is the EBITDA in year three? And the answer is, if we look at our thing, 156,000, which is, oops, I just messed everything up which is D. So the answer for this would be D. All right, what is the NPV of your doggy daycare assuming um, that this is net of all expenses? And the answer to that is 190,000, which is B. Your mom reminds you that you bought a mobile dog grooming van last year. So 
Um, here you're standing in time zero and you've made this revenue projection to try to see if you are going to do this business or not. And the answer to this is that it's a sunk cost because your business plan does not include mobile dog grooming services. And so therefore you would not include it in your NPV calculations. The last question is totally unrelated. It says you are approached after three years of owning the business. Um, somebody wants to buy it for 700,000. If you, um, are going to live for 50 more years and you think that you'll spend $50,000 at the end of each year is $700,000 enough to retire early. So in this example we are standing here and now this is our time zero. And we have one option which is sell business. Um, and to do that we need to uh, figure out if we can make enough money to cover our expenses. And so what are our expenses? $50,000 per year um, for 50 years. And our interest rate, we have a different interest rate because if we're gonna retire, we may not wanna take as much risk. So 6%. This is an annuity. So here you would have, like, let me just draw this timeline. And this would go all the way to 50. And then we would have 50,000 and that would go all the way out and there are 50 payments. And so the only thing that we have to do is get the present value of this annuity. The rate is 6% because it's annual. We get a payment every year. We have 50 periods. The payment is $50,000 and we close our parentheses. Remember that this is a negative, it's gonna give us a negative value. So we have to put a negative to counter that. So this is our cost of living for the rest of our life. And that number is 788,000. Selling the business only gets us 70,000 and therefore or 700,000. And therefore we don't have enough money to retire unless we do some other working job. So the answer on this is being would be no, A, uh, would be A, no because the net present value of the annuity is more than $700,000.